Okay, so we have an existing network here, with two PCs in it and a switch connected up wired, and we want to add on some wireless devices to it. First thing we need is a wireless access point. So if we go to network devices and then wireless devices, we can use this wireless router here, WRT300M. Connect that up to the switch. Now that's part of the network. We need to set up DHCP on this access point for any other uh, wireless devices that are out here so they can get an IP address. So the first job is go in to the access point to GUI. And you'll see on the first screen there, there's a DHCP server. Before we do anything with this, we can change the IP address to uh, 1.1 and come down to the end to save the changes. We come back up, you'll see that the DHCP is enabled. The start address is 1.100, there's 50 users maximum, so it's going to go from 1.100 up to 149. So that's okay, that's what we want. And the IP address is still 1.1. So I'll close this. If I go to end devices and take a laptop, there's no connection straight away because the laptop doesn't have the wireless connector. So I'll go into the laptop, scroll down there and turn it off. We drag out the Ethernet card to make room for this wireless card, WPC300M, and turn on the laptop again. The laptop now should connect automatically, and there, there's the connection. So we can prove that by going into the laptop and go to desktop, command prompt, and do an IP config. And there it's after getting the first address in the range of addresses from the DHCP server on the router, the wireless router. So as it stands now, any laptop or mobile or uh, tablet or anything can come in and it will connect to this access point automatically because there's no security on it. So there's two levels of security we want to put on this now. The first one is using the wireless security, WPA2. So if I come in here to the router again, go to wireless, and go to wireless security, you can see the security mode is disabled. So I'll turn that on to WPA2 personal, leave it at AES, and put in password 01 as the passphrase, scroll down a bit, and save settings. And now our laptop is disconnected because it's, it doesn't have the security um, set up in it. So if we go into the laptop, go to PC wireless, type it in, go to connect, our access point should show up here. As is default, click on that, go to connect, and it's asking for the passphrase. So password 01, connect, and now it's connected again. So that's the first level of security, putting a password on it using WPA2. Trouble with this is, if the password becomes generally known, anybody can come in with an iPad or a phone or a laptop and connect onto the, onto the wireless network. So we want to limit it to only a certain number of laptops. So to do that, we use MAC address filtering. So I'll go back into this laptop here to get the MAC address. So back into command prompt. This time I'll do IP config forward slash all. And you can see the MAC address here, the physical address of the laptop is this. So if I highlight that and copy it, go back into the access point and go to wireless. But this time instead of wireless security, I come across to wireless MAC filter and I enable it. The first one is a blacklisting option. We want to prevent these MAC addresses from connecting, but we want to be a bit more specific. We want to permit these MAC addresses to connect. So if I enable the permit, I come into the first slot here and paste in the MAC address that I copied from the laptop. I have to reformat this now with colons every two characters because it was formatted differently in the IP config. So colons every two characters, scroll down to the end and save settings. It should reconnect, so there it is. Now there's two forms of security on this. The first one is the WPA2, but it has the password set up, so it's connecting. The second one is there's a whitelist of MAC addresses here, 
that the MAC address of this laptop is included in this whitelist, so it's connecting. Now if another laptop arrives, I have to put in a wireless card into this again, so get rid of the Ethernet card, put in a wireless card, and turn it on. If I go to desktop and PC wireless, connect, where the access point should normally show up here, there's nothing. And that's because the MAC address of this laptop isn't included in the whitelist, in the MAC address filtering. So if I go to, if I close this and go to command prompt and do an IP config, all again, and copy the MAC address again, go into the access point, go to wireless, wireless MAC filter, this time I go into the second slot and paste it in, colons every two characters again, like that, that's all right, like that, scroll down to the end, save settings, now this one is, the MAC address of this laptop is in the white list here, but we haven't set up the WPA2 yet. So if I go back in, I go to PC Wireless, connect. Now the access point will show up here in the list. If we're whitelisted, there it is. So I go connect and put in password, 01, connect, and there's our connection. So now we have the two laptops connected. So the first form of security is the WPA2. The second one is the MAC address filtering. We put the MAC addresses of these two laptops into a whitelist on the access point.